And this is Danish from JobSkillsShare.org. I'm with my favorite helmet. You know, the reason I'm holding this is because I'm going to get to my topic today. And the topic is that sometimes you might have a dream about something that you really like or you want it, but things can change with this scenarios or or you know nature can change things for you for example I love to write I mean I was writing 848 Ducati 848 and I have some videos over there too but after my accident where I broke my neck and spine I'm done with writing so the dream is still alive but I cannot go for it so things need to change so I'm gonna get back to my topic today and the topic is for people who are basically um, starting their IT career or they have started IT career and they want to move up and they're thinking to become a sysadmin. The reason I'm saying sysadmin because I'm specifically targeting sysadmin here and maybe you want to be that person but uh, you're thinking that you're ready so this is a little test, not a test um, don't think it is in a test bit. Think if think of this as a learning uh, steps for you. So if you can, if you know these things, then I think you're ready. And if you're ready, then you should start applying for jobs. If you if you're still considering to be in this position, so you're a help desk. You have some skills, or you are really good at some skills, and you think that uh, you know this. The stuff that I'm going to talk about right now is you think you know all this, then you should really start applying for sysadmin job and uh, or an internship as a sysadmin uh, rather than spending time in a help desk. Now, some people love help desk. Like I said, there's two things that there, there are different fields. Some people love to work with users, like users working with their just normal stuff and they love it. They just stay there and that's it's a less stressful job. I mean, if you know your stuff, it's less stress uh, versus the sysadmin guy because you as a help this person can always assign it to a sysadmin the sysadmin really have to call around to fix that problem he can't just do that he can't just throw it down to someone else and if he's the only sysadmin guy I mean that's the only thing he has to solve it so guys uh, CCNA in my hand I mean I don't know why I'm holding this but it's gonna come to this little bit so the first thing you should be considering right now or thinking can you do uh, routers right there's a router and a switch can you work with the routers just basic stuff can you turn on the router can you can you basically configure it so that it can talk can you make a networking in it can you can you make it work can you can you make the router talk to your switches can you access the routers just if I tell you this is the router guy you think you can do this here you go there's a router configure this router to my other building that's not physically connected can you do that and if that's a yes I can do this move on to second one switches and routers are you okay with it then you're good you can move on to DNS now DNS let's say someone comes to you I have a new site and we just move this hosting come just say this is a, a web hosting company and they say this these are the, my new DNS stuff can you put this DNS uh, into the new for the new system to connect my sites can you do that maybe you are working for a hosting company or a sysadmin in a hosting company and you you have to do this every day someone buy a site and then you gotta tell them hey this is what you work on the DNS stuff because it's gonna take some time so can you work with DNS it's just normal thing it's daily stuff for you DNS can you work with security can you secure a router can you secure a switch can you secure servers do you know how to scan uh, uh, desktops and uh, even with the devices now can you monitor them can you run reporting stuff like that can you do that okay let's moving on to another one web servers web servers are very important even though you might be thinking what do I have to do with a web server but every company have a site I mean that's their main thing every company usually these days have sites that's how people customers go pay online and those sites are running on some type of server so can you manage those web servers can you upgrade some web applications on your own can you work with it that's another question for you can you do that now if you can do these little the things that I discuss then you're halfway through because look you can route 
you can work with switches you can work with DNS which is kind of the most important things like the backbone of everything and you can do like basically the stuff like right talk web servers hmm all right can you work with firewalls because in a company you have your let's say AT&T give you connection then everything starts from firewall right it get connected you got a firewall you got a router you got switches and you might have a very complex networking going on but I'm just talking about basic stuff firewall can you work with firewalls can if someone come to you we got some new IP addresses that you need to make a rule that we can access those IP addresses without any problems can you just without googling it can you just go to your firewall and make a rule can you let's talk about rules ports and stuff like that can you work with that so if you can then I think you're ready now other things like can you work with users like managers directors IT directors uh, your company CEO if you know if he comes and sit with you can you work with them and, and sometimes with users can you talk a non-technical uh, you know communication with them I know you're technical you know all this stuff but can you talk non-technical stuff can you can you can, are you that person that where you can sit in in a group and where you can talk to them in a normal way without using any Cisco t terms any server terms any imaging terms anything like that can you do that if you can then my friend you are ready to become a uh, entry-level system administrator because that's what we, that's what they do you know there's really nothing more I know people get too good in it and some people just pick one specific site and that would be either Cisco or maybe security or maybe servers like Microsoft servers and they might be really 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 good in it and they spend a lot of years I'm just talking about basic system administration that's guys I mean other things can come other things like you know backing up uh, VMware virtualization things like that you will work on that also but this is some kind of normal stuff so whatever I just talked to you right now in your mind just go back and just just think about it can you do this then you're ready let's say for example you're that person that you know you talked about router you talked about switches you talked about virtualization you talked about web servers you talked about firewalls you talked about ports you talked about rules and things like that this is not something I have even touched then we are starting a new course help this transition from help desk to system admin and this is something we will do together we will start from routing switching we'll move on to firewalls we will move on to virtualization and we will move on to everything that you need to know to become an entry-level system administrator because we have learned this from our help this course how effective it was when we started doing a real-world scenarios and we turn it into a full-blown course and you guys see the success from it and that's the same way we will do with the system admin uh, uh, course we have started that in the past because there are other great resources outside available we're not gonna reinvent the view we might do some kind of combination so let's say for example if there is a core if they in the system admin we need to know more about Windows Server stuff then we will go to itfreetraining.com which is great I mean I cannot create all these videos none of our team members can create something that big I mean, there are too many videos so we will use those resources for our courses and then combine it with our hands-on skills so that's gonna give you even massive benefit and books like this is also important guys you guys gotta get some books uh, because you know you can't just cover every single scenario but when you look at these books and when you basically go through all these um, examples then you will create your own examples own scenarios uh, so that was my video for today uh, hopefully you guys have some answers after this go back and like I said you know check mark all of these things if you can do it great uh, move ahead uh, if you get a job make sure you come back to my platform uh, and help us out our team we are a team it's not just me uh, it's all of us together so if you know a lot of things and if you can just make even uh, real world scenario videos like you know you're working somewhere and you know you or oh, you just build a whole network you can make a video for us you can help out a lot of people 
and that's what we do in this platform and I hopefully I'll see you guys in a different video and make sure don't 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 let go of your dreams you know because uh, yeah sometimes you might not be able to do one thing but you can do another thing to make yourself happy so what I'm saying is if you don't want to be a sysadmin and you don't like this stuff you can be in the helpless position and you can advance in the same career or you can start a security uh, career or you can do a web career but there's a lot of things for you you know so don't just don't just like you know say that you know if I can do system admin I can get jobs with the system admin position then try something else maybe you will love it because you haven't tried it so try it before you make a decision see you guys